This case is 37. And this one at low power looks like a dysplastic nevus. Bridging nests, it's got nice bridging, it's got nests. And you could say, oh, it's good, good nesting, so not much pagetoid spread or single cells. But this is an older patient. They've got some solar damage, I think, elsewhere in the slide. It's not really easy to see here. And even though it looks nested, the cells are pretty atypical. Big nucleoli, large atypical nuclei. I also don't love to see like large junctional nests, in, especially in old, in older sun damaged patients. In younger people in their nevi, it's not not uncommon to have large nests. But the other thing here is that while we're busy focusing on the nests, it's easy to miss the fact that there's a ton of pagetoid spread and confluent single cell growth all throughout the background. This one's pretty obvious, I think, if you just look even for a minute. But I've seen cases where these so-called, I think this fits nicely with the so-called nested melanoma of the elderly, which is usually in older patients, often on sun-damaged skin, where you get real big, prominent nests of atypical melanocytes, and that nested appearance can kind of falsely reassure you. And there can be, usually though, I think when you go closer, you'll see atypia. And also if you look, or if you use stains, oftentimes just looking carefully, you can see it. You will find there are actually a lot of single cells with inner reedy growth and near areas of confluence and pagetoid spread in the background. It's it's just distracting to see the big nests here there's a lot of cytoplasm in those background melanocytes so there's actually no doubt it's very straightforward melanoma at closer examination look at all those cells pagetoid everywhere right but uh, sometimes I think that's a, a trick to be aware of that big nests in uh, in older patients in sun damaged skin especially be very wary about if you have large nests with atypia um, or if you think it looks like a dysplastic nevus and they're very sun damaged and, and it's got moderate or severe atypia, um, be careful. Look for pagetoid spread. Look around carefully. Look at the periphery of the lesion. Don't just stop and say, oh, it's nested. It's fine. Um, and then the other thing I think that we could point out here is that sometimes, even though melanomas we teach don't have an eyeliner sign, they, they replace the basal layer, sometimes they don't. And one of the times that you can see this exception, I think, is in these kind of nested, nested melanoma in older sun damaged skin. The nests kind of float up and leave the basal layer of darkly pigmented, in this case, the darkly pigmented cells here are actually, most of those are keratinocytes. So they leave like a little bit of a rim of keratinocytes underneath them. So um, sometimes I, I've seen benign nevi with large nests that float too, but I'm really wary, especially in older sun damaged patients, that pattern. I've seen that multiple times in, um, in nested melanomas like this. So I don't know how specific that is, but one of my, my partner, Sarah Shalen had pointed that out to me years ago. And um, I've, been keeping an eye on it and I, I feel like that was a really astute pickup that she had and I've definitely seen multiple times where that was a great clue to help me recognize a, a, a nested looking melanoma that also had pagetoid and stuff in the background so I have seen Nevi with with this kind of eyeliner rim underneath them but um, but also you can see it in melanoma so again you know we say the eyeliner sign is good for squamous situ or for Paget's disease, but melanoma, you know, no rules perfect, right? Uh, melanomas can sometimes do it, but also here, we've got obvious nests, obvious pigment. I mean, there's no, this is clearly melanoma, not squamous situ, not Paget's disease, right? So uh, again, don't, don't fixate too much on the little clues, guys. All right, that's a, a good example.